All right, welcome back, YouTubers, to Big Bird's Adventures. It is Columbus Day, so we have a day off together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that we're just gonna go play uh, today. We found a 1960 something Cadillac Fleetwood four door, just like the one I got in the garage, um, in a in a neighboring town, and. Uh, they only want 300 bucks for it and it looks like it has the front glass and back glass and trunk so we're gonna go try to negotiate a deal to where we just take those parts and it happens to be at a scrapyard so whatever we take today may be its final day so uh <laughs> but we're this is just our little adventure that i'm gonna go with uh laura's gonna go with me today so this will be interesting so we're gonna take you along Again, like, share, and subscribe if you uh, like my videos. Uh, share with uh, all your other YouTubers, and we'll uh, we'll bring you along today. I hope you enjoy the video. We made it to the uh, 60s Cadillac. Look how it's sitting up here on the hill, up at Green Salvage. And so yes, it has the front glass. Doesn't look like it's broken at all. I'll have to go over there and check that out. Got spider webs, so it looks like it. But look at this, you guys. I don't know. This looks decent. I hope this is the right one. But, and then the trunk is in good shape. We're definitely taking that the trunk. So, but yeah, here we are. All right, we're pulling the windshield off. Sitting like that. That's crazy. And I don't want it. A little bit more that way if that's okay so I can walk around it <laughs> all right thank you Woohoo! all right now we can work on this thing a little bit better okay babe back her up back her up all the way to the car thank you Oh. Now we're going to back the get it mobile. Okay. All right. 
Well, we're at the back glass right now. We're having to chip away at all the old seal to get the glass to actually come out. Uh, we've had to tear up all the trim because it's just super glued big time in here. So we're trying to get it out without breaking it. So show them the glue. <laughs> the glue and Lord, the glue been working that comes out. right out on your hand. So. <laughs> Cutting the seal right here with a flat blade, and it's super in there. And so we just want to go through and try to get the glass free. I've never done this before, so we're uh, we're going through layers and and hoping we don't break break the glass, the glass at the same time. <laughs> the grass is the glass is so fragile. kind of see still and then they kind of go in here and kind of cut the seal off there's a huge chance that I'm just going to shatter this glass <laughs> sorry about the wind uh, we got these pads to put the windshield on or the glass on Moment of truth. Oh, your yeah. pads are gonna. Let me grab them. <laughs> it's a little windy. Hopefully, it's not making it like so crazy. But oh my goodness, you have that glass for your Cadillac. Oh. Nope, it's not, because your wife is awesome. <laughs> right? Yeah. Look at that face. He's not happy at all. Okay, let's get him somewhere he can lay it that's soft. That's not going to blow away. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the front. Did you want to show them the trunk or the inside? Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. All right, the windshield's about to come out. I got all the seals cut. We're gonna leave this bottom seal, just hoping that when we flip it up, it comes right out of there. But it's ready to go. The lady's gonna basically let this camera. There we go. Yeah, oh, there we go. There we go. And then. Want me to hold it? Yeah. Yeah. Very dangerous at this point. Oh yeah, look at that. Where do you want me? Ooh. Oh yeah. Mike. <laughs> okay. And we're gonna pull it down. Slide it in. See where it broke and busted right there. Yeah, we got a little chip. Gonna have to see if we can do some glass repair. Oh, man. But it's out. In comparison to the uh, the 62 we have, this glass is almost perfect. That's right. So now we just gotta get it to get our, the back of our car organized. Cause yeah, <laughs> got some tools in there. Right. And then pull any other pieces we need. So. All right, well, it took us a little bit, but we got the front windshield out, got the dash pad out, we got a bunch of the stuff in the back, interior out, and we got this rear window out. Couldn't get the trunk truck uh just wasn't open for us so i had to abandon ship on that i took the tail lights um and then we're just having a call of the day i don't have all day to be here so she's gonna be scrapped or sold off i left the engine um the engine in this is the original 
Uh, a lot of regrets here, but I only had this one day to make it happen. And uh, yeah, this is where we are. I love to take the wiring harness, but uh, we may just take a second to get the emblems off the hood. And that's it. So anyway, we got the glass in the car. We hope to make it home with it like this. We'll see. <laughs> All right, well, we are heading on our way. We have a car full. A car full of glass <laughs> from 1962. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is probably not the proper way to travel, but we got foam and, you know, it's it's up to them whether they want to travel or not so it's pretty secure uh, yeah so we'll let you know if we made it um we were here at uh green's auto salvage or green salvage um they were nice enough to let us use their facility to uh pull it pull it apart pull it apart we'll show you the car on the way out yeah <laughs> i had to get in the parking area and then i've got to drive like cautiously holy moly in the Utah driving so but I'll show you here these people are awesome they moved the car for us oh yeah they They're... they held off all the other classic crazies that are out there right now there was like four or five people who wanted this car today but there she is hey I mean they can come pick it up now okay let's be careful popping up here but yeah this is uh this is a 1962 park car it really looks like a park car now, but it's pretty well beat up. Uh, we, took, we took the back windshield out, the tail lights. There it is here in Twilla, Utah, and uh, we're gonna head we're gonna head home. All right, well we made it home. I'm going to attempt to get the glass out of the car, get it set up on the hood of the Cadillac for now until we find a place to put it. Here we go. Another dash pads. It's in way better shape than the one that came out of my car. This should be the perfect match for the back window. Got a little curb at the bottom. A little curb at the bottom here. Hopefully it isn't a different type of window for this deluxe car. Felt like this was a little closer to this. We'll have to measure it and see. So these are a little more curved than I remember it. Let's get this other guy. This is the uh, this is the front windshield. I know I've got a huge. There we go. It's terrible. But yeah, see, the windshield smashed pretty bad. So it's had better days. Eek. So, hopefully this will fix the issue. It was a 62 that it came out of. So, let me grab that real quick.
All right. So as you can see here, we got the uh, driver. We got the front windshield. Um, it's pretty old. It's it's got some uh, some staining issues, but other than that, we just want to make sure that you know with the weight is distributed really well here, and then it's not feeling like it's all the weights in one press one one little spot. We do have a nick right here that I'll get filled in. Looks like it's a rock chip. And then we have a little bit of a crack that I created right there. But for the most part, you know, going through and sealing up all the cracks and pressure points, cleaning it up um, will be way better than what's going on here. Because this bad boy, is, it's broke. I got uh, some jewelry for the Cadillac. This is the horn button that mine's broke on. So this is in almost great condition. Let me see if I don't if I don't drop it here. And then and then the emblems that go on the front of the car. Let me show that to you guys. So, I got the Cadillac emblem with the set nuts, and then I got that big guy. So, got me some jewelry while I was at it. Um, it was totally worth it. Totally worth every little second being in that decrepit car, um, but I'm thankful for it. It's, uh, I think they're taking the engine transmission out of it. I could have, I could have ended up with the engine transmission, but uh, it's just a timing thing. So there wasn't a lot of timing today or in my life period. So I paid 350 bucks for almost $1,800 worth of stuff. So uh, I know it's not new. It's a budget build. We got to keep that in mind, but we are on our way. So um, I also. Let me see here. Sorry, there's a lot of kids in the neighborhood and they just seem to want to cry. So, um, but managed to get a box full of goodies. Um, we've got some tail lights. Uh, pulled the tail lights off. So I got another set of these. We got the big tail lights. Uh, mine are cracked up way worse. And then just a box full of goodies. I mean, I don't even know what's in this box, so we'll have to go over them. Like I even got the metal grill that go on the back. Um, I think mine. So we'll clean these up, polish them, and put them on. So, but anyway, thanks for watching Big Bird's Adventures 62 Cadillac. Um, it's getting on its way. I mean, like I said, it's going to be about a year till we uh, we're finished with this project. But here she sits. Look at that beautiful um i can't i can't be more happy with uh with the route that it's taken and uh we'll keep on making videos um y'all have a great one and thanks again for watching